Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you stopping by to check out my video. And we're here at Masano just doing a quick little race here um, with the Aston Martin. So let's get started. Go in double five. Let's see what we can do here. Got the number two brake pads Low time pressure. like Stay normal on my race setup, so gotta get them warmed up a little bit. Green light, give it all you can. Not too much time to warm them up. Whoa. Car on the left. So I'm gonna be really cautious here in the very Bay beginning. On the left. Car on the left. Bay on the left. Warmed up. the AI at 95 and the uh, aggression at 85 so it's not going to be a walk in the park for sure it's the way I like it though <laughs> Okay, just doing little tweaks to it, trying to get it to, you know, sound better and uh, so everybody can hear me clearly also.
I noticed with this Aston Martin, you got to drive just a little bit different because of the gear ratios. Like these turns through here, you got to use first because it's got a really tall first gear and uh, it just doesn't accelerate off the bottom really good. So you need to be in a little bit, of, you know, one gear lower, it seems like. You get the best performance out of it. So just a little bit different, you know, different uh, way of driving it compared to some of the other cars that don't, you know, have to do that. Even the AMG, which is the same engine. Even AMG, you don't have to do that, but you do with this one. I mean, I don't know if it's the engine, the way the engine's tuned, or the uh, the way the gear ratios are. I don't know, but or both. <laughs> just doesn't come off the bottom, you know, the RPM as good as some of the other cars do. Surprises me since it's a twin, twin turbo, but I guess it's just the way it's tuned. Again, yeah, it just makes it, you know, makes it more unique. out in the marbles. A little about a half a car length too wide there. Definitely good to carry your corner speed up with this car. It helps it get going again. down there more. Yeah, I blew that. You go in there a little bit, uh, break it a little bit earlier. Earlier. Like I said, try to keep the momentum going.
that Aston Martin in the front slowing them down. I think if uh, either one of the other two were in front, they'd probably go faster. I just can't get around them. What kind of lap times we're running? I haven't been looking, so... I got the AI at 95 and the aggression at 85, so... It's not low. That's better. I got the, uh, you know, like I said, number two brake pads, like I said in the beginning, so it should be good for the whole race. Of course, this is a short race, but I mean, they should be good for a longer race also, is what I meant to say. It just seems like if you, you got to be in first as often as you can, or it just doesn't. Car on the left. This thing just does not pick up the bottom really good at all. time if you try to go up into a higher gear. Most cars I go through here, all these gear all these corners in second for this one. It's just I tried it but it seems like I lose too much. everybody a favor. I mean, if if uh, you're on any kind of forums or something, and you know anybody that's looking for setups or stuff like that, you know, show them uh, my channel because I really don't like to say stuff like that on a on a on a forum on somebody else's questions. It just looks like I'm trying to toot my own horn, and I'm not. I'm just, you know, like I said, I rather have somebody else say something. You know, might be good for them, might not. Get some more, uh, more interest.
got another lap or two, I probably could get ahead of that AMG. It takes a while to get them set up. Good setup. It's good on the brakes everywhere. It's, just, it's a good setup. It's a good raceable setup. Right. Right. That's good. We're coming from eighth. I'm happy with that. Um, I mean, I ran some uh, high 35s with it in practice, so I know it'll do that, you know, really pushing hard. So, uh, it's a good setup. I mean, just really balanced well, which Chris's car is balanced well anyway, but I mean, he just, just adds to that. And there's my just, I just did a quick little livery. I mean, I just think the Aston Martin looks so, so nice. I just did a quick little just nothing really livery, but this car looks good at just about everything. <laughs> looks so good. Oh, man. That looks good, sounds good. Definitely one of my favorite cars. I want to always do some more playing around with it, trying to get, you know, setups and stuff. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And again, oh, there we go. Oh, two Aston Martins, first and third, so that's good. All three AMG motors. Uh, let's get to the setup. And you see my times really quick. I mean, you're all 136s, a couple 137s, but I mean, it's because I was in traffic the whole most, most of the time. Like I said, I know I ran some high 35s with it, so I'm sure I could have done that if I wasn't in traffic the whole time. Um, setup. Uh, I got 24 and a half for the left front. 24 for the left rear, 25.1 for the right front, and 25.0 for the right rear. The uh, camber on the front is a negative 3.4 with the caster at 12.5, and the rear is a negative 2.6 on the camber. Uh, electronics, I got 4 and 4. Uh, fuel strategy, I had 51 liters. Uh, brake pads, 2. Uh, mechanical, I have two on the any roll bar in the front 64 brake bias 14 steer ratio low as I could get it 14 5,000 on the wheel rate for the front and 15 5,000 for the wheel rate on the rear and any roll bar is four on the back with 30 on the preload on the diff um, didn't really need to help it rotate too much with this car so good neutral I don't want to overdo it uh, shocks got 15 18 18 and 17 on the front and that's bump fast bump rebound and fast rebound and rear is 15 17 20 and 20 and the arrow is 56 in the front and 65 in the back with a seven rear wing and a two in the brake duct and on the front and one on the rear which i noticed with the heart with those number twos it's one good thing you don't have to run as much ducting to it so because you want them to stay warm um, and that's it. So again, I really appreciate it. I really hope that uh, you enjoyed the video and look for more coming. Um, the championship will be coming extremely soon. Look for some more videos coming out on uh, New Year's Day tomorrow uh, as I will be having some fun and trying to get some stuff done on uh, with ACC. So uh, I hope everybody has a great, like I said, great and safe New Year's. And uh, I hope you come back and visit. And like I said, if you could, do me a favor. And just if you see forums where somebody's looking for any kind of setups, um, you guys could share it. I really appreciate it. Or just show them this show them, uh, the channel so we can always improve things and try to uh, uh, grow and always do better. I'm always looking for suggestions and feedback. So you all have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. See ya.